Well, I thought we lost a really hard fought battle tonight. Um, I, I, when you look at our team, you know, we got down the first half 14 points, 43 to 29. And I learned a lot about my guys. We fought all the way to the end and basically had a chance to, to win the game. I, I thought they made two incredible shots at the end. Uh, one by uh, Noah Locke, who hit a, a deep three as the shot clock was running down. And then the same thing by Matt Cross, uh, which obviously was a difference in the game. Um, I, I thought our guys, um, you know, we looked a little early on. I think we until we got our win back a little bit, we looked a little fatigued from the four overtime. Uh, but I thought once we settled in and started playing and I thought we did a good job, um, you know, some guys played some great individual games. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a hell of a game. You know, unfortunately, we had to come in, come in at the short end of the stick. So we'll get better. We'll move forward. Um, and, and then obviously the biggest thing we need our guys get a little bit of rest. Questions? Uh, Jonas. Coach, how, how big a game was this for Tequavion, AC opener? Um, the way he struggled against uh, Nebraska with the turnovers and some big shots. For him to bounce back and have a big game like this against Louisville. You know, I thought um, Jonas, he he was, um, I thought he was huge. And, you know, it's tough to, it, this was his first start and it was an ACC game. You know, the unfortunate thing, we were out one of our veterans in Casey and I decided to reward him to start. And I, I thought he was tremendous. Um, you're right. You know, looking back after playing at Oklahoma State and then Nebraska, you wanted to see how he responded. And I thought he played great as a freshman. Uh, Alec. Yeah, Kevin, you said you learned a lot about your team here. And I know it's, you know, back to back four point comebacks it is obviously that's a good sign to see those guys, you know, fighting and, and sticking with it. Is there a question? Alec? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. How just how good of that, obviously, is that to see with those guys, you know, early in the season in these two games fighting and sticking with it? Yeah, I mean, Alec, I think it's great that we're fighting now in, a, in an ideal situation. I don't want to be down every game 14 just to show everybody or to prove that we can come back. Um, but this 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 team has no quit in it. And, you know, I you know at, at halftime, we talked about what we wasn't doing well. We need to concentrate on getting, you know, I thought they beat us to a couple 50-50 balls. And, and, and certainly, um, you know, that, that expanded the lead before the half. I think we played solid defense, but it was the intangibles, the loose balls, the – you know, extra shots that they got that made the difference in the first half where I thought we cleaned it up other than one segment in the second half. Patrick? Coach, based on what you've seen so far, has, has this group surprised you in just how well it's playing and maybe have you raised your expectations for their ceiling of what they can accomplish? You know, Patrick, it would be very easy for me to say – you know, I'm, I'm without the best ACC player in the country, defensive player, and, and, and then obviously, um, you know, one of the best shot blockers in the country and without Casey Morsell, two starters. But it's not what we're about as a program. Uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, disrespect any of our players. Uh, we, we're working our butts off, and, and some of our guys are getting better, and it just shows you that we can compete with anybody in the country, even under our circumstances. Uh, We'll continue to get better, but my expectations in every game, regardless, is try to win the game, and that's what we wanted to do tonight. Luke? Uh, Luke, DeCock, do you have a question? All right, does anyone else have any questions for Coach? All right, Jonas. You can hear me? Got you now. We can hear you now, Jonas. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask Luke's question for him. He was asking about the run, the run in the second half. The run the run you guys had to start. Uh, the 10 over run in the second half kind of looked spark for the team. Say, say that one more time, Jonas. I'm sorry. I was asking the question for Luke because so his computer was acting up, but he was asking about the 10-0 run you guys had to get back into the game. Um, how big was that for your team? It's kind of about what was working, what, what went well for you guys on that spark there? Well, it, it was uh, – I just thought we came out 
of halftime with great energy and 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 our, and our guys uh, we got on transition we did it in different ways we made shots we got on transition we drove the basketball uh we got to the free throw line you know we talked about it halftime not trying to get it all back at one time you know we talked about chipping away at the lead and we would look at it at the 16 minute timeout and and then if we needed it to the 12 and I thought our guys came out focused and um uh, we were angry coming out of the, the um, halftime. We know that we didn't play our best basketball. And, um, you know, obviously I thought our guys came out, you know, with a sense of urgency in the second half and, and certainly cut the game. And, and it was a good game towards the end.